Rhodes, gutsy call early. Fourth and one, he sends the offense back out. Jeff Woody, the running back, the power back. He's going to get the carry, and he trips forward across the 40. It'll be good for the first down. The ball was loose, but he, I believe, it hit the turf. The ball carrier is down by rule. First down. Look at Rhodes. It's a little play like that that could get this Iowa State team going. Yep, just a little off-tackle run by Woody. Man, he's a big guy, 6'1", 242. The perfect running back for a short yardage situation. His 27th carry of the year. He's now rushed for 59 yards this season, but those big yards there. Rojas on the keeper, running free. Grant Rojas, nothing but green in front of him. Give him six. Grant Rojas on the keeper. 54 yards on the carry for Rojas. Rhodes goes for it on fourth down. For, on fourth down, they get it, and on first, Rojas goes to the house. Yeah, all set up by the guts of head coach Paul Rhodes. But Grant Rojas, a sneaky athlete. Don't think people quite give him the credit he deserves. Wouldn't say he had breakaway speed, but enough to get the job done. Cole Netton hits the extra point. Paul Rhodes and company trying to battle back after a couple of turnovers that gave West Virginia a 17-0 lead. Nice play fake. And Rojas with his first career rushing touchdown has the Cyclones on the board. Well, they catch West Virginia off guard a little bit. I just think from the simple fact when, when Iowa State has run this read option that you saw right there, they usually bring in their, their other quarterback, number 12, Sam Richardson. I don't think West Virginia's defense was expecting to see that out of Grant Rojas. Good play call by Courtney Messingham, offensive coordinator, and a nice run by the Cube. West Virginia fans feel good about this one. The Mountaineers on top 24 to seven with 9.17 to play, and they dodged a bullet here. Yeah, dodged a bullet. Iowa State really shooting themselves in the foot here early in the game. Had the tur two turnovers that ended up points for West Virginia. And then even on that series there, they get down inside the red zone, fumbled snap, false start, sack on third down. That the only third missed opportunity in the red zone for that Iowa State offense this whole year. Very big right there. You see it, an interception, a fumble that went for a touchdown, and that missed field goal. Mountaineers running it. There goes Sims across midfield. Charles Sims, touchdown. Virginia 76 yards for the seniors second of the day and Chris Iowa State trying to get back in this one 31 7 they trail it but they're moving the ball here a little swing pass to Wimberley who gets it into West Virginia territory Witakowski Daryl Worley made the stop That was Bundridge, it went in motion. They're gonna go deep. Bundridge open and he dropped it at the 20 yard line. You don't see that very often and those are the kinds of plays you have to make when you trail at 30. Kind of sums up what the day has been like for the Cyclones. Rojas on second and 10. Again, dumps it to Wimberley and he's got room because West Virginia was bringing pressure. He breaks a tackle. Wimberley inside the 15 yard line. <laughs> After the penalty. Ball spotted at the 10 yard line. First and five for Rojas, throwing, end zone, touchdown! Quentin Bundridge, who dropped one a moment ago, snags this one. First passing touchdown of the day for Rojas, who already ran for a long one. For Bundridge, his eighth scoring grab of the year and the 10th of his career. PAT for Cole Netton is good. Iowa State trailed it 31 to seven, but not going away. A nice drive here, and now it's back to a 17 point game. Well, both offenses, we've seen this play by both teams so far, taking advantage of aggressive safety play in the secondary. A little quick play action, and then these skinny posts behind the aggressive safety play. 
Nice throw by quarterback Grand Rojas. And nice catch. Nice comeback after the drop pass by Quentin Bundridge. Trickett gonna pass. Getting pressure. Fumbled the ball. It's gonna be recovered by West Virginia, but it didn't matter anyway. It was fourth down. Willie Scott made the hit from his defensive end position. Corey Morrissey was back there. And now Iowa State, who thought they had a turnover, it got reversed, will get the ball in plus territory, trailing it 31 to 14. Well, nothing open downfield for quarterback Clint Trickett. Willie Scott does a good job getting around the edge, continues to pursue the quarterback, and gets the sack fumble. halfway through the third quarter. Just say it one more time, if you're quarterback Grand Rojas and you throw the ball here, be careful. Want to make sure your team comes away with some points on this drive. Still a three-score game. Need a field goal at some point. They can get the first down without getting the touchdown. They go to the end zone, tipped and incomplete. Good cup. In that situation there, you'd like to see the quarterback throw it high, high and in front. Give your receiver a chance or nobody gets it. The ball goes out of the back of the end zone. 28-yard field goal attempt is blocked. Looked like Avery Williams came through and got it. Second time. 31-14, West Virginia leading Iowa State with 3.25 to play in the third quarter. But the Cyclones with a huge break. While we were away, referee Reggie Smith said the play... Ruled on the field as a fumble will stand. Not confirmed. Not enough video evidence to overturn it. And there you see Paul Rhodes knows that his team, while hanging on to very little, still has some life. Call the fumble. No field position. Starting this drive at their own one. That's Woody. who will get some operating room. Rushing it out toward the 10-yard line where he's tackled. Drive started for the Cyclones at their own one-yard line. Play action for Rojas. Down the middle, E.J. Bibbs wide open. Makes a man miss. Breaks a tackle and goes down at the West Virginia 40. Nick Quiddicow, 36 on the play. Second grab of the night for the tight end. Swing pass here to Wimberley. He's got room. Another first down as he goes inside the 30. Wimberley has been a big part of the receiving game tonight. Came in with only 13 catches on the season. Had a 58-yard touchdown reception last week against Kansas. Here he's on the ground where he's really comfortable, and he's got another first down, spinning inside the 20. on first and 10 from the 17. Going to pass, getting pressure. Now he's going to run. He's got room. Right near the first down marker as he gets it inside the 10 before Doug Rigg. It's been great. A couple of touchdowns. Iowa State gets the first down. Chantrell Johnson inside the five. Again, it's Johnson in the backfield. Option left. Rojas the pitch. He makes Golson miss, dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Cyclones. How about the move for the senior, Chantrell Johnson? What a run by Chantrell Johnson. Linebacker number two, Brandon Golson, does a good job assignment wise. But Chantrell just makes a miss in space and then gives up his body to get in the end zone. Great job by him. Seventh career touchdown run for Chantrell Johnson. 
And it's a big one. It gets Iowa State back in the ball game. What a nifty run by the senior. Paul Rhodes and his team right back in this one. Trickett, play action. Down the middle, Alford. There he goes. Mario Alford sees the end zone. He's going to get there. One play, touchdown, West Virginia. 76 yards. Trickett to Alford. Kirby Vanderkamp was busy early tonight. It's a fake. He's going to run it. He's got room right up the middle. First down as he crosses the 40. He got buried after he got the first down by Jawan Snow, but what a gutsy call by Paul Rhodes. Down by 17, you got to do something, and they go for it deep in their own territory. Well, un unbelievable call by Paul Rhodes. Catch West Virginia in a safe, safe return type punt return there. Just a, a really gutsy call. That's the second time tonight. Here we go on third and 14. Rojas wants it all, and he's got it. It is caught right down the middle, and this one going to go the distance. Quentin Bundridge, his second Pass touchdown to grab of the night. 62 yards for the redshirt sophomore. 9.38 to play. And if you're a West Virginia fan, you're simply saying at this stage of the night, Iowa State, will you please go away? The Cyclones not playing along. Bundridge in the end zone again. We're back to third and three. Big for both teams. Trickett going to pass. Looking left. It's going to be caught. This time pulled in by Vernon Davis, who gets the first down, lost the ball, and Iowa State is on it. Rolling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First and ten. Second. Uh, well, first, it was a nice route, good throw. Now, that angle doesn't show it. This angle likely will. Ooh. Yeah, that's really close, but I think it was out, Chris. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would expect to see some short, a short, quick pass out of Rojas. A pair of receivers either side on fourth and seven. Quick pass over the middle. Coleman's got it for a first down. He wrestles inside the 15-yard line. Darryl Worley finally got him down Justin there. Three Coleman. for three tonight on fourth down, and we have an injured player. All-out blitz, one-on-one -on -one in the slot with Darryl Worley. Nice route by Coleman. Good throw by Rojas once again. 31-yard try. Netton 0 for 2 tonight. But this one, right down Main Street. And it's a one possession game. 38, 38, 31, 4, 21 to play in our fourth quarter. Cody Clay in as a blocking back. Play action. That was Morrissey in the backfield. He's chasing Trippett, who throws on the run, gets it to Kevin White, who bobbled, and they are going to say it's intercepted. Oh, my goodness, picked off on the play. Jacquez Washington. How about that? <laughs> so many talking points on this play. Nice play by Trickett, extending the play with his legs a little, finding the receiver. Oh, White he just absolutely took that ball away from him. Yeah, just went off his hip right into Jacquez Washington's hands. That is an incredible play. Third and seven. Cyclones taking their time from the 19. It looks like it's going to be pressure again from West Virginia's defense as well. Rojas throws. Caught. Coleman breaking free. Coleman touchdown Cyclones. We're a PAT from being tied in Morgantown. Second career touchdown for the senior. And, oh, it comes in a big moment in the final game of his career. Well, it's the... The all-important extra point. 
good. All tied at 38 with one minute remaining. Final play of the game, barring a penalty. Trick it. Going to air it out down the near sideline. Intercepted at the goal line. Jacquez Washington with his second pick of the fourth quarter. The first one, the difference maker in this game. West Virginia. Paul Rhodes team tonight trailed by 17 on two different occasions in the fourth quarter. They rallied to tie it in the final minute. Iowa State, seven of 17 on third down. This a third and two for Rojas. End around. Bundridge has got it. Read perfectly. How about the stop by Carl Joseph? He lost big yards, and that's going to make a challenge on fourth down for the field goal team. 40-yard attempt for Cole Netton. And he knocks it through. I'm going to pass. Throwing left. Caught. Nope. Incomplete. Shorts could not hang on. Ball stripped away by Sam Richardson. And he knocks it through. Third and six, bad snap. Threw off the timing, incomplete. Molinari, the holder. It's good. 44-41. How about this? Paul Rhodes going with Jeff Woody at running back, the fifth-year senior behind Rojas. He carries on first down and muscles forward for about four. And now... Woody gets the carry again. Carrying tacklers inside the 20-yard line. And now they're saying the ball is loose. If West Virginia recovered, this game is over. Our referee is Reggie Smith. And they are going to say third down, Iowa State ball. Woody <laughs> in the game right now. Big physical runner. They probably trust him with the ball. Yeah, there's, wow. That's, that's really close. That is really close. Yeah, I think it was a fumble. I just think Iowa State recovered it. And three. Woody is out. The other senior, Chantrell Johnson, is in. He gets the carry here. And he's got the first down. The extra effort takes him inside the 15-yard line, I believe. Yep, they're going to signal first down. Double tight end. They run it with Johnson. Inside the 10, powering down to the 8 for Iowa State. They run it on second down with Johnson. He is hit at the line of scrimmage by Joseph and turns forward. Gain of a yard, but short. Third and two. Here's Johnson. Hit in the backfield and stopped. Great penetration up front. Try another field goal and send us to a third overtime. This one from 26 yards. Good. Last game of the year. Nobody wants to end on a sour note. I know as an next player myself, don't want to watch the film over and over. Rojas going to throw it. Looking down the middle. Wow. Got a man. Touchdown. Wide open Coleman. And you just heard our referee, Reggie Smith. In the third overtime, you must go for two if you score a touchdown. They ran it exclusively in overtime number two and a great play call by Courtney Messingham to go for six.
great play. James White, the running back. He's to the left of Rojas. Rojas to throw. Back of the end zone. Two-point conversion is good to E.J. Bibbs. And now the pressure squarely on the backside of the Mountaineer offense. Oh, they fake the option to the right. Justin Coleman fakes like he's going to run the corner, runs a post. And then there you see E.J. Bibbs runs a little stick and go. Fakes the five yard out, goes back into the back of the end zone. Good throw by Grant Rojas. Great. Now the Mountaineers must score a touchdown and convert a two point conversion to force a fourth overtime. Sims in motion. Trickett throwing that way on the wheel route. He caught it. Sims inside the five to the four yard line. They'll actually spot it at the three. He beat Jared Brackens. Pick up a 22 on first down. Big pass plays the theme in overtime number three. This time Sims going to run it. And he stopped in the backfield. Jared Bracken sneaking through to get him. Play action. End zone. Incomplete. Fans want a flag. They're not going to get one. Third and goal. They're going to run it here. Sims dancing left. He might have lost yardage. Jacquez Washington was there. Willie Scott was there. And now Wally Burnham's team can end the season on a high note. Fourth and... Sims in motion. Trick it to throw it. End zone. Tipped. Caught. Shorts. Can't get in. It's all over in Morgantown. Paul Rhodes and Iowa State overcome a 17-point fourth quarter deficit, and they win it in triple overtime. What a game. The Cyclone team won on September 26th at Tulsa. They didn't win again until last week when they beat Kansas at home. And now they go back to back, winning on the road at West Virginia. Here's the final play. Jevin Miller got a hand on it. Shorts made the catch, but he's short of the line. And Iowa State able to win on the road in dramatic fashion. Thanks so much for being with us. An outstanding season of college football on Fox Sports 1. For our entire crew, I'm Adam Alexander. So long from Morgantown. And after a break, the UC UFC Ultimate Fighter, it starts in 30 seconds. Good night from West Virginia.